Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back, I'm Ryan. And a couple of people left some comments on the first timer video. They had a couple questions where they said, hey, I'm using 30 FPS and whenever I do the timer, a couple of the digits in the milliseconds category uh, keep disappearing and stuff like that. Like, you know, the write-on is really messing everything up. How do I fix that? And also, I'm gonna go through and fix another problem that nobody else commented on, but I saw recently that I'm surprised nobody talked to me about, but we're gonna go through and fix that as well. And finally, we're gonna go through and make an improvement to our countdown timer, that way you can make one with no compound clips. So we're gonna go through and solve two problems with one solution. Our first problem being that the milliseconds disappear uh, whenever you're using 30 and 60. And our second problem being that some of the milliseconds will disappear whenever the seconds go from a single digit to a double digit. So let's go through here and add our text plus. Here is that. I'm gonna go through and extend it just a little bit. So we're gonna go through and I'm gonna show you what is happening here. So we have time divided by 30. And let's bring our right on down to there, right? So you're gonna notice, if we left justify it, that it's flickering, right? That's because when it goes through and says four, there's actually like nothing there for it to go through and like keep there because there's not enough digits for it to keep because it only goes to like 4.7 and all these other digits, right? So it's not very great. But what we can do is we can actually go through and add a method that'll go through and like format all of our numbers. So we're gonna do string.format, a parenthesis, quotation mark, percent sign, a decimal point, and then a digit. This digit is the number of digits that you want after the decimal point. Like how many milliseconds do you want in your number? So for our case, we're gonna do three. We're gonna do F for float, add another parenthesis, a comma, and then our time divided by 30, ending parenthesis, hit enter, and we need to change our write on back to 100. We're gonna write justify it this time. And now, no flickering, it's amazing. There you go, five, six, seven. So all of our digits are here. And when we go from nine until 10, you see that we still are at 10 and here we're at 200. I don't think I ever showed it the first time, but there'll be an example down here for what it looked like with just time divided by 30. So there you go, that solves all of our problems for this first one. And our second thing we're gonna talk about today is how to improve our countdown timer. Now, last time we used compound clips and it was a little confusing. You had to go into the compound clip in order to extend it like, you know, to the right, in order to extend it to the left in the actual timeline. And it's a little bit confusing. So we're gonna go through and use another method, a character substitution method to create everything and make it awesome. So we're gonna extend our timer to the left going into the negative numbers, if you're thinking about it on like a number timeline, right? You have zero, the negative side, and then the positive side of numbers. And you see, as we play in the positive direction of our timeline, we're actually counting down. Perfect, it's a countdown timer. Now, we need to get rid of the negative sign though. So we're gonna take all of our things that we just made, our string that format, and put it all within parentheses, kind of make it all one big unit. Then we're gonna do a colon and say G sub parenthesis. And inside of our quotation marks, we're gonna put the character that we want to get rid of. In our case, it's gonna be the negative sign. Do that again and put nothing in the second set of quotations or the second parameters and add another parenthesis. And then whenever you hit enter, the, per the uh, negative sign is gone and it's fantastic. And now you have a countdown timer with no compound clips. And the best thing is that let's bring this down to about zero. You can go through, have this anywhere, goes on to zero, and you can extend it exactly the way that you want it. You don't have to go through and extend it in the positive direction and then bring it out here and extend your compound clip. It is a working countdown timer in your timeline and it's fluid, you can put it anywhere. It's amazing. You can go through and make it as long as you want, whatever. So there you go. All right, well, I hope you guys found this video useful. Hopefully it was able to help you elevate your DaVinci Resolve editing skills and make some cool timers for you to use in your own videos. If you liked it, maybe hit like. If you wanna see more, maybe hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care.